hi guys, it's me again. So, as you may be able to tell, I'm going back to America. This time I'm going to be going back in an Air Canada 777, and then I'm going to be on a Jazz Q300 once again. By the way, I forgot to mention last time that I was actually in Shanghai for about four days. So I flew on a Hong Kong Airlines A330-200 for about two hours up to Pudong Airport. And after riding on a taxi that, I believe at one point was going 150 kilometers an hour, we got to our hotel. It was incredibly cheap, despite its appearance. I think it was around $80 a night or something. Probably due to the fact that it was in the middle of a residential area, and not anywhere near downtown or even a tourist location. And that for me was a good thing, because I wanted to see the real Shanghai. For example, what are the locals like? What they do on their free time? What they travel on? What they buy? What they eat? and not just some touristy sugar-coated version of it. I did go to some tourist locations though, like the Bund and the former World Expo, cause it'll be such a waste if I don't. But overall, I did try to stay closer to the locals, and the experience was pretty positive. It's partially because most negative experiences were already expected from before I went, like the smog and the traffic cause apparently red lights are only advisory for some people. But the other reason is because most positive experiences I got weren't expected. It turns out the streets were decently clean, the infrastructure system is pretty well developed though not completely well thought out, YouTube, Google, and Facebook weren't actually blocked from our hotel despite running incredibly slow, I didn't get sick from any unsanitary restaurants and the food was great, but most importantly, most of the locals were friendly. And they tried to be helpful. It definitely helped change my impression of Shanghai, and even China. And yes, I do know about what their central government does and their human right abuses, and I do occasionally remember that I am in the People's Republic, which is why even with all my positive experiences, I've always felt a little paranoid while I was there. Because this is China, and you know that there's stuff you can say that'll get you in trouble. You know that, I know that, and the locals know that. So in the end, I gotta say, I'm glad that I had a great time in China, but I'm also glad to be back in Hong Kong. And in 17 hours, I'm gonna be back in the United States. So with all that said, let's get started, and I'll see you in Portland.
Hey guys, made it back to Portland without puking once again, and hey, what's that, what's that thing back there? Well, that's different. So apparently we got a new flight while I was gone in Hong Kong, so I'll have to get busy catching those flights. And as for you guys, I'll see you again soon. Bye.